All right, we're back at the man cave. I'm your host, Black Irish. Give you a little video for you today. It's gonna be a small one. Uh, it's from this guy named Paul Elam. He's been in the circuit for a minute, talking about men's rights and their problems and the situations that they go through. Before I get to all that, I want to say thank everyone for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that like button. I appreciate everyone that's been hitting it up. You guys are picking it up. It's been a year. You guys are showing me your support, and I'm gonna keep putting out these videos because you. Um, don't forget, like, share, subscribe, tell all your friends about me, pass it along. You know, I gotta take the heat so I can entertain you. It's all good. And just because people hate on you for talk, speaking the truth, doesn't mean that you're wrong. It means you may be saying something that reg regulates. With all right. So I'm not the biggest fan of pearly things. I, you already know how I feel about her. She's definitely a pander for men in that circuit, but. This is actually a really good conversation, so I'm gonna put bias aside and let's play the video. Men do this all the time. It's why I don't really have, I, I probably should, I get criticized for it. I don't have a lot of sympathy for men in these situations. They make horrible decisions based on crazy ideas. Anybody should be able to look at that image of a guy down on his knees bearing a diamond saying, this is how I want our life to be, as totally unsustainable. Right but it doesn't even enter our minds. We're just like, oh no, she's smiling. Because it's been programmed into us for like a thousand years. Exactly. And it is not a natural arrangement between men and women. Like I said, gynocentrism, certain amount of it is natural. It, mm -hmm. And it's easy to understand how we got there. Yeah. But this romantic notion, matrimony, you know, so they don't call it patrimony. Mm -hmm. Ma marriage, matrimony, used to signify a time when a woman put aside being a child and became an adult responsible for a family. She had to produce. She had to do all kinds of things. She had to take care of children. She had real responsibilities yeah. and real work. And then when we brought romance into it, the object right. became, oh, you don't have to work. You We just put a cushion under your butt and you can enjoy life that way. Yeah, well it's like the Walt Disney effect. How many times have we talked about and other YouTubers talked about the Walt Disney effect. You sell him a dream that you'll find your Prince Charming. He'll be the best thing for you. He's going to do everything you want and you don't have to lift a finger. And he's right. Back in the day, you, it was a job. You getting married was to reproduce and groom the next, the ch the next fu children's futures to be better than yours. And you would teach them to do the same thing over and over again. And it was understood. It was understood that this is what we're supposed to be doing. So romance got involved and even more than that, Walmart and things like that, the court system, everything did everything that it could to destroy the nuclear family. And it worked perfectly. It was perfect. It's unfortunate that so much had to be sacrificed just for us to get there. So it's no longer like you're signing a contract to be this person's wife and you to be this person's husband and you work together. We now are signing a contract that, well, I don't feel happy anymore and you get, you get to win stuff. It's like the lottery. You can do whatever you want, win the money, and then you can move on to the next lottery and do this over and over again. And women didn't realize that this is actually destroying them. And men are stupid because they're still getting married to these type of women. They don't understand that this is not healthy. This mindset, this whole thing of you just going, well, it won't happen to me. What makes you different than everyone else where you won't get swindled by some pretty face that you get married to? And then she decides, I'm not happy and takes all your fortune in a dare in a generation where men and women can work equally and have the same equal money, but the law still stay the same that you are the, supposed to supply them. Yes, men can collect money, but it usually happens more the other way around. And yes, they still have court systems that help women win and get their best in court against the husband or against the father. That's the, because that's what I would always hear is that we didn't have to work back in the day, but we used to live on farms. <laughs> so I'm like, life was a billion times harder if you were a stay-at-home wife a hundred years ago. And you know, I hear most of that crap from men who, who think somehow that there was this magical patriarchy in the past 
where women didn't work. Women worked brutally hard and had shorter lives yeah. because of it for thousands of years until we developed the technology to rescue them from that. Mm -hmm. And we've applied it all in just such an insane way. I mean, sorry, look at the state of women right now. How many, what percentage of women are even marriageable? Right uh, 3% now. statistically, if you want no tattoos, no debt, and <laughs> and under the age of 35, I think. Yes, and... and there's, there's a couple more they added into it, but it was like in the book of numbers, like not overweight, no other kids. <laughs> 3%. Like, yeah. <laughs> and so it becomes a man's job, and here's the, the problem. Men just have to man up and marry these whores. Yes, yes the of course cons. they do. That's, yeah. a, that's the right thing to do, and that's what they've been doing, which is why, you know, half of the marriages are failing, and then 70% yeah. of second marriages are failing. Failing. It's a the simp epidemic. You saw it in China. China and the men have actually given up. I was in a video. I did that video where these guys were proposing, and this guy was giving a flower, bowing his head. And I'm just like, it wasn't to some petite, perfect ten chick. It was to a rhino, and she walked away like she was too, like she was embarrassed to be seen by him. Like. This is what happens when you shift the power. These women who whore themselves and go out here and do all this stuff, and they're, they're like children. They are recklessly allowed to act ignorantly because the government knows they're, they're like, women are like children. You set them free, they do dumb stuff. The same way that the father gave their daughter structure and told her this is how things go, this is how things go, but then when they went to college, they were reckless with it. They did all sorts of horrible things. And if you've been to college, you know the type of chicks that would just be throwing it at you because they needed to experiment. The experiment. It's insane when you think about this. So like now that you have so many women who are in that position where they all look the same, you got to choose from the, what? The Rhino to the 304? That's what you're stuck with. You're stuck with those two choices. So you marry them and they fail miserably because they can't pair a bond and they're so busy thinking about the next D that they want to get on. So you don't, you're, you feel like you don't have anything. That's why they were afraid of the passport bros. Passport bros was the way of telling men, you don't gotta be stuck here, you can go elsewhere. Why do you think shame language is a thing when the passport bros happens? Because they don't want those men who are the safety net for when those women are done being the 304, they wanted to shame them into staying here. Have you ever met a girl that you said you were hanging out, you think things were cool, even if she didn't like you like that or not? There was always that girl that would sabotage it and tell you, well, she's the, she's, there's something wrong with that girl. She has these problems. She, when you think about that, before you react, don't listen to her. Talk to the girl yourself. And you're gonna probably realize that that girl made up half the crap that she said because she doesn't like someone else getting more attention than you or that she wants you and she didn't want the other girl to have you. No woman's going to go out of her way to tell you, yeah, she's problems, don't date her. The failure of men mm -hmm. in my book, they want to practice these unrealistic expectations. And I think they've got a, a sort of shame-based thing going on here. If we don't make women happy, we're not men. Yep. That's also tied into this. Oh, wow, that's really true. I didn't think about that till you said it, but that's really true. It is. If we don't, because that was even during the Michael Knowles debate, that's what he said. I said, well, if she gets the wrong group of friends, she can leave if she does this. And then he's like, oh, well, you got to watch the friends. You got to watch the leadership. And I, so it's like putting all accountability for a marriage failing on the man. Absolutely. When sometimes like a chick just, he just wants to go. He can't do anything. <laughs> like, and most of the time, I mean, yeah. monogamy is a hard thing to maintain for both sexes. Yeah. I, it's tough. Women have easy outs. Mm -hmm. And if men don't make her happy, the first thing she's going to do is attack his masculinity. When she uh, goes out and badmouths him, it'll be all things that undermine his status. As a masculine man, he doesn't work hard enough. He doesn't pay enough attention to me. He doesn't do this. He's always doing that. These are things that shame men. Mm -hmm. and, and you have to remember, this is all, I'm sorry, sorry to cut it off. This is another thing you have to realize. Any woman that does it to you, 
you have to grow a pair. You you have to. If you are a boy, you got your boys, and your boys stand and see that your boys should be the same guys should be standing up to you and telling you don't tolerate that. You need to kick her to the curve. These type of women are toxic. These type of women will destroy you. These type of women will do all sorts of things. And it's personally out of the fact that they're jealous of you. And they're bitter. They're bitter people. They'll sit there and insult you. For what? Because you didn't do something they liked. That's why you never tell your woman your, your deep, dark secrets. Don't ever tell you. Don't listen to nobody tell you nothing. Especially a woman. Don't ever tell your, your deep, dark secrets to no woman because they don't know how to handle it. And they'll just use it against you again. Because that's how they do things. And we buy into it. Mm -hmm. Instead of, you know, <laughs> treating her like a guy, which is what I recommend. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Explain that a little more. Treat her like a guy. Same standards. Yeah. Guys will take shit from women that they would punch a man in the mouth for. Right. Constantly. They do that. Without they, and I'm not, no, for somebody says Paul Elam's recommending punching yeah. women in the mouth. I'm not recommending any such thing. But just the capacity to hear a crazy, unrealistic expectation, like I want a three carat emerald cut VS1 diamond for an engagement ring. Guys don't have the ability, or they should have the ability, to say, the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Go buy one. I, I did a show, and a girl wanted a $200,000 engagement ring for an overweight, like, 33-year-old woman. And I'm like, two for... I mean, at least be like 22, you know, and hot. You're going to ask for that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, at least you got to be a seven or a higher, at least. Which I've got I'm a not... better idea. No ring. Oof. Yeah. Yeah. You have to earn the ring. When you have women that are demanding it, I think a lot of them are just going in with the flow, like with everyone on Instagram and TikTok, all these women that can actually demand those type of things. And even still, I would say, man, don't do it. But you have the hippos, you have the the, well, the ones that never will be say, of, of the female you know, race who want to come out here and tell you what they want. And men should tell the women, F off. No. Look at it. I'm not paying for that. For what? What am I getting? Are you going to lose weight? If you lose the weight, I'll give it to you. Oh, that's misogyny. Well, misogyny is diabetes and fine. I don't want it. You need to go someplace else. That's ridiculous. Because they just, all they're doing is just repeating what the women that they, they admire on Instagram doing. That's it. And men should have the balls to tell the woman no. I know it's hard. I know your fear of, because we've all been, as men, we've all been there. We've the fear that, well, if this woman doesn't, it doesn't go with me, then I'll lose. I may not get any other girl. Sometimes peace is better than being with someone that you can't tolerate. Trust me, peace is a beautiful thing. No, nothing. Yeah. W we are in an age where I think it's okay for men to start telling women, you're responsible for your own happiness. If you need a piece of carbon mined by slave labor, a 12-year-old <laughs> in Africa, to feel good about yourself, go buy one. Right. Women can work. Strong independent. They can produce. I can do bad by myself. Guys won't do that because it makes them feel unmasculine. Yes. Right. And so it's a trap. Nobody's going to survive. And love is... You know, love is a funny thing. The romance stuff and infatuation, none of that is love. It never was love. Mm -hmm. Love comes 15, 20, 25 years into a relationship with somebody. And how do you get to that point where there's real intimacy and real love if one person's fawning over the other all the time? All it does is build resentment and entitlement. Mm -hmm. It also brings that what have you done for me lately kind of thing. Okay, you got me this thing, but what have you done for me lately? Yeah, you got me this thing, but Josephine's husband or boyfriend got him her this. I remember I did with one of my um, ex bosses. He was um, he did a red hot fifties um, birthday for his his wife. He never had anything like this before. He rented up an auditorium. He had uh, the perf the performers play at the at her show. He had mute musicians. He even had her name in the title Red Hot 50 on a plane that was fly over at a specific time. He planned all this out. And you know what the women were doing? They were getting jealous that they didn't ever got that from their men. 
instead of being happy with the man that they have, they wanted to live the, through the life vicariously through someone else. It's always something else. It's never. You're. It's not saying that there aren't good women out there that you can find and you have a good relationship with, and you two can bond. But unfortunately, too many of them are just. It, they're just crumbled by the nonsense, the everything else that comes around them. They're so focused on what the other girl is getting. Can I get that? And if I don't, my man's failing because their man did that. What do you, Instagram. The women that can go on these trips and do all the crazy expensive stuff that you dream of, you want to live vicariously through them. And it's sad that men do not put their foot down but thankfully the places like mine and many others the man cave we are making men great again and just don't take it don't lose your mind because i said that i'm saying it for me because i want men to be better i want men to stand up to be masculine again to make women earn a man's protection earn a man's trust earn a man's proposal this is the audition you need to do better by these men and prove to them that you can no longer be the child, but now you can be wed and be the woman you were designed to be.